It's a date that was frequently mentioned in the lead-up to GE13 as a warning of election results gone wrong. And even in the aftermath of the polls, references to the day and the tensions it brought continue. May 13, 1969. A day of racial rioting, a day that continues to haunt Malaysia's political scene even more than 40 years later. On the eve of May 13 this year, former Court of Appeal Judge Muhammad Nur Abdullah warned Chinese Malaysians to be prepared for a backlash from the Malay community community for their betrayal in the recent elections. Mohamed Noor's warning follows Prime Minister Najib Razak, who blamed Barisan National's poor performance in the recent elections on a Chinese tsunami of support for the opposition. Mohamed Noor told a forum in Kuala Lumpur that the Chinese had plotted to seize political power from the Malays, even though they already had economic power. The comments have sparked outrage among Malaysians already angered by Najib's Chinese tsunami remarks. I feel that the statement of Najib is memang nak apa? Great hatred. Memang nak create satu macam sebab dia orang tengok, dia orang dah macam makin teruk. So dia orang nak create hatred supaya dia orang tak nak Malaysia ni Malaysian unite. So ni lah cara macam divide and conquer macam dia orang nak divide. Lepas tu nanti dia orang nak supaya senang kerja dia. Ha. Itu pasal isu politik saja Untuk dia ambil balik undi untuk gabungkan Melayu semua macam tu And dia terpaksa jadikan satu kaum untuk jadi black, eh, black, black sheep kami hitam Today, after running a series of articles over the past few days that many felt incited anti-Chinese sentiment, AMNO linked Utusan Malaysia has now run a front-page article saying it was mostly young Chinese who had attended a series of opposition rallies branded by the Daily as illegal. Perkasa Vice President Zulkifli Norden also seemed to echo Utusan's sentiment on his Twitter feed, posting this message. Tomorrow is May 13th, the 44th anniversary of race riots in Malaysia, which was the atrocity of chauvinists, including Kitsiang's party, which used the slogan Malay Se or Die Malays. But is the fanning of racial tensions and the references to May 13th something Malaysians really need worry about? I think that I suppose it's more like a tactic of fear somehow. Even though what really happened, you know, there's probably real death. And I wasn't there to actually witness all that, you know, it's what we heard and what we probably been told in school. But, you know, the, the t- tactics of fear shouldn't be instilled when I was growing up in school. You know, 13 May, oh, you know, it's a really scary thing and we should, like, stay indoors or something like that. You know, we should get out and celebrate our togetherness instead. Loudly. Yeah. Today, a coalition of NGOs will try to revamp the image of May 13, not as a day of fear, but as a day of racial unity. They will be holding a series of musical events this evening before having a candlelight vigil in conjunction with the date at Puduraya. Smisha Naidu, Kini TV.